Hi there, welcome to the SAI Intelligence Conference 2019 here in London. And with me is Jahele Jafari from the University of Agder. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Could you tell me, what is the uh, research that you are currently involved in? Uh, well, I can mention my expertise at first that uh, my expertise include fuzzy logic, artificial intelligence and automatic controller. Uh, in the Center for Artificial Intelligence Research at the University of Agder in Norway, mm -hmm. uh, we are using uh, that uh, some expertise that like fuzzy logic uh, for generating the data. This data we are using for training the chatbot. Okay. Uh, yes, we are developing a chatbot which can reply the questions that uh, the user they can ask from the bot and the chatbot can reply you. And for this one, uh, we need to develop a chatbot that is like human being, uh, that can talk with you properly, uh, continue the conversation, and uh, correctly answers the questions that mm. you are asking. And yeah. um, if you could take me to our daily life, how will we use this in daily life in the future? The chatbot? Yeah. Yes, uh, exactly this is the thing that we are planning to do. We are planning to make a boat that is so smart, so friendly, like human, and can reply all the questions that you are asking from it. Uh -huh. um, it should be that much smart that, for example, by changing the topic, it can also understand your uh, meaning and then can reply you properly. And uh, since uh, the chatbot that now we are developing is for some um, special issue, uh, because um, the topic that we are working on it is related to young people that they are struggling okay. with social health problems. Uh -huh. uh, like for example, with suicide, uh, self-harm, uh, eating disorders, um, and uh, like divorce. These are the problems that the young people they are facing with them. So our board should be that much smart that when you are asking the question that can reply you properly. Uh, but but that, that means that this chatbot needs to have some sort of emotional intelligence, right? Yes. If you talk about suicide and divorce. Yes. Uh, we are planning that to make it that much like uh, similar to human that it should uh, be like human, it should uh, understand the feeling that, mm -hmm. uh, for example, when you are sad, that talks with you in sad mood, that can convince you, then also that when that uh, you is talking with one child, can understand that that is child and should talk in a manner that you are talking with child. And when it's talking with one adult person or one former person, then yes. it should understand that how it should uh, continue the conversation. And how, how far are you from making this bot doing this? Uh, in fact, now it is two years that we have started this project uh -huh. and uh, we got good results with that. Uh, but uh, once that you are entering to this topic, you see that there are so many things that you want to do on it. So uh, our aim that um, we generated the topic, uh, but we made our data by manually. Um, because there are something that the data plays an important role for chatbot. Chatbot is good when that you are giving the amount, like huge amount of data to that. Uh -huh. uh, but once that you don't have enough data, then the chatbot won't be that much strong and yeah. smart. So the difficulty that we faced with that was the data uh, issue. But we overcome with that also. We came with some yes. ideas that we generate our own data. And, and, and what, what at this point in time is your biggest challenge now? Uh, well, our biggest challenge is the data that um, generating this data because now the idea that we have for generating the data is still, uh, we have not proceeded very well with that. Okay. Um, we may be successful or we may fail also, um, but there are that uh, um, like some ideas that we want to use uh, fuzzy logic for generating the data. In fact, uh, the machine, they are something that they understand, like program, like as, uh, for example, like true or false, hmm. uh, like set of one. Uh, but uh, when you are coming to one, like human being conversation, uh, 
uh, when you are talking about, for example, the height of someone, that you are talking that about that uh, someone is tall or not tall, yeah. then the issue becomes something like different. For example, uh, when you are talking with machine about tall or not tall, machine understand that either it is tall or not tall. Yeah. But from human being uh, point, it is something that we uh, give like some range to this height. To, to you, tall may mean something else than to me. Yes, exactly. Yes. That is the <laughs> difference that we want the machine understand that. For example, yeah. when we are talking like one 80, 180 centimeter and 190 centimeter, for example, for machine can understand it is tall, but yeah. it's not equally tall. So uh, yeah. we are planning to use this idea that by giving the range of height, for example, for uh -huh. this sentence, uh -huh. that when we have like 2000 data, by this range, by increasing the range, then we generate from 2000 data like 10,000 data. Yeah, I understand. And um, if you look in the future, when this project is finished, what is your dream? What will then be there? Well, there are so many dreams that I have. Uh, the first thing is that um, now we are planning that to make the data from text. Yeah. Uh, the second plan is that we want that, um, means that I dream that to make a chatbot that it is too smart, that can um, go along with all the conversation. Uh, that uh, whatever that you are asking should be able to reply you in each topic, that whatever that you want and with emotion, uh, everything mixed with each other. Okay. <laughs> that should be that much smart that can handle everything together. The second thing that I'm planning to do is generating the image data. Mm -hmm. uh, because apart from that text data that uh, we are planning to generate, the image data also is so essential for us. Because, uh, for example, when you are going to uh, detect some fault in offshore or uh, see uh, like pipelines, mm -hmm. uh, oil or gas pipelines, then uh, in those ones we need images. Sometimes that, uh, because the detect detection of the fault in these pipelines is so essential for companies. And when we have the less amount of data, so we can train our model very good. So my aim is that to generate image data, but this time by using the fuzzy logic and the concept of color. Yeah. Well, the concept <laughs> of color is so beautiful concept. Uh, color can talk with you, uh, can say the sentence. Uh, you can talk, uh, your like daily talking uh, in the form of uh, color. So these all together, color concept, fuzzy, logic and artificial intelligence techniques mixed to, with each other, I think that will be amazing. These are amazing dreams. Yes. And I <laughs> hope you will make them come true really fast. Yeah. Good luck with that. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for watching. And if you're interested in more interviews like these, please check out the Sci Intelligence website or maybe next year come to the conference. Bye bye. Bye.